Hi everyone, I want to thank GLAD for this special recognition. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve as an eyewitness to our history. During the 1991 GLAD LA Awards, Paul Manette accepted the Stephen Kolzak Award on behalf of his late lover. Paul described those times as a cultural McCarthyism. He died of AIDS in 1995. Another winner, Terrence McNally, died of COVID-19 last March. Much has changed, but much has not. Please take care. Thank you. Next, we recognize the Dean of American LGBTQ Journalism, a Stonewall witness who has changed the course of LGBTQ media and inclusion for 50 years. It's founder and current publisher of the Philadelphia Gay News, Mark Siegel. Today in 2020, GLAD is presenting more than 175 awards for LGBT visibility in media, and I wanted to congratulate all the winners as well as the nominees. If this was 1973, there would only be one award, that for the disruption of the Today Show and the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite to demand our visibility. Today, 47 years later, you have made that dream of visibility a reality. Thank you for making my dream a reality. And finally, the creator, writer, and star of the fantastic Netflix series special, Ryan O'Connell. Ryan is changing the way we look at LGBTQ people with disabilities in the most hilarious way. One of the show's biggest fans is actor and activist Jillian Mercado, who wanted to say a few words about Ryan's work before we hear from Ryan himself. You know, I never saw anyone who told LGBTQ plus stories the way that I was living my life. TV shows or movies depicting someone with a disability were always extremely sad or really depressing. So when I saw the premiere of Special, I binged the heck out of it. I cried, I laughed till a little pee came out. What would my profile even say? I'm gay and disabled, but I promise not to drool on you until the third date. And I felt that Ryan's character and I could be best of friends. Ryan, you are a trailblazer in the entertainment industry and someone I can call a friend. Keep pushing those boundaries and I'll keep falling out of my wheelchair of laughter. Thank you, Glad, so much for honoring my show, which took four years door to door to get made. Not like I'm naming names or being bitter about it, but uh, it is a journey to get gay stuff made. And then you add cerebral palsy in front of that and people are a little confused. There's still a lot to be done. And I think that, especially in terms of talking about queerness, I think, you know, in a lot of ways, TV shows are gayer than ever, but we're still like the best friend. You know, we're still just like there giving you advice while eating a chopped salad. And I really do believe that uh, gay people deserve to be the stars of their own show and they deserve to be given as much texture and nuance as their straight characters. I also think we have a long way to go in terms of disability. Um, there's just not enough. We are not nearly where we should be, but hopefully that's gonna change. I'm gonna try my damnedest to make sure that it does because uh, I really can't stomach another story about a straight white male. <laughs> Sorry, Annie, <laughs> you're done. Time to go to sleep and time for us to take over. So thank you, Glad, for everything.